Welcome to the Notorious DID. I am Salora. I am going to discuss today about our current, or at least my current, mental state. I have been having issues with a weight in my chest and not feeling well, dizziness, things like that. So, I had a really bad weight in my chest last night and I went to the hospital and I also had a, a past couple of days I've had a really bad sore throat going on. So I had them check that as well while I was there. Why not, right? They um, checked my blood levels because I do have to take blood thinner. I had a pulmonary embolism about 9 or 10 years ago. And it's always in the back of my head that little bit of fear that that could take place again. I was lucky that it wasn't that serious the last time, but I am aware that it can be life-threatening. Well, as I near 50, it seems that I am starting to have some issues mentally with the fear of health. They ran full tests, they did an EKG, they did everything, and I was 100% healthy, which I'm glad. I am glad I was 100% healthy. They ran a test. I must have uh, a sinus infection, which I usually do get once a year at least, is what my throat issue is going on because they did run full swab for COVID. I don't have that. I don't have... Um, uh, strep throat or anything like that. So that's the good news. The bad news is, uh, part of it is obviously I do have really, really bad acid reflux. I used to have little tiny pinpoint ulcers on my esophagus, I had, which forever ago they called esophageal malfunction. I've had that since we were 15. So, we do have bad acid reflux. He believed that part of it is definitely due to that. And I am probably going to have to go back on to uh, medication for that. Prevacid that you can get over the counter is really good for that. Just in case anybody is curious because we've used that before and we're regularly on it. And evidently we're going to have to go back on it because it's tearing us up. The only thing about it um, with getting older, you definitely carry around your little pill bag with your Imodium and your antacids and your granny pills. <laughs> but um, I do need to dial back the anxiety I am having that just started surfacing, I would say, within the last few months. Uh, in October, our birthday is Halloween, and we do turn 50. So, we are, at least I am, I don't know about the others, but I am experiencing an anxiety health anxiety that I need to curb, I need to dial back, and I need to really get a hold of because I don't want any kind of paranoia or anything like that going on, and yeah, we've been kind of amped up about it and unsure and just checking to make sure that you're okay because we did have... As I mentioned before in another video, we did have an aunt who thought she was just having a panic attack for a couple of days, and then she dropped dead of a heart attack. So that's another thing that gives us anxiety about it, because you just never know, and a lot of people don't go check. Well, even if you think you're going to look like a fool, like obviously, I looked like, okay, 
she needs probably some anxiety pills because I was perfectly healthy. However, I may not have been. So if you think anything is wrong, go check and don't have the fear of somebody thinking that you're an idiot because you may not have been an idiot and you may have saved your life. In my particular case, it was obviously anxiety. I have a lot of anxiety. I have a lot of depression. Me individually. Not everyone that's in the system, but I do individually. I would also like to mention, I am so proud of my daughter. She got the position. She started. Uh, they're going to have her starting regularly toward the end of the month. She's very excited and she's learning something new. So I am very happy for her. And that has been a plus. Another plus, my financial aid started getting sorted out with schooling. So I did have to pause it and I lost track a little bit, so I'm sorry. But toward the end of the month, I am going to be starting the medical billing and coding with college because my financial aid is situated. So I'm excited about that. That's another plus. Uh, if you wait around long enough, no matter how bad or dark you think something is, eventually it's going to work its way out. I am evidently going to have to start some form of meditation or something to calm my ass down because I am having anxiety issues that are affecting me mentally to where I think it's physical and that's a problem. I need to dial that back and I need to sort that out and I need to get on top of that because I'm not helping the system and or myself or anybody else around me because it's just a problem. Again, if you ever have a question about what's going on, make sure that you take yourself to the hospital. Just because in my case, it was acid reflux and anxiety. That is not always the case. You could be saving your life. Never be afraid to go to the hospital, especially if you feel there's something isn't right. I was having cold chills and weird things that I've never had before. If you're experiencing something, have it checked. The worst they can tell you is that there's absolutely nothing wrong, which is, of course, the best they can tell you. We are, of course, also going through menopause, so there's a lot of hormonal fluctuations and all different types of things going on with that as well. So that has you know, on the ups and downs and roller coaster ride of life. Just another joy of being a female. Thank you for coming and listening to us. Thank you for being part of our community. Like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Leave us a comment. We love your comments. We are more than happy to answer any questions you may have. This has been Solara for the Notorious DID. Bye.